my lapel mic. Some ah, there it is. There he goes. All righty, all righty. This phone tag. Damn it, man. Hey, sorry. No, no, no. How's it's up? all it's all good. It's all good. How's it going, bro? Good. How are you? All right. Hey, first thing first, man. I I would like to say that uh, I like your name, bro. John Dillinger. No, no. Yes, sir. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you. So, oh, go ahead. Go, go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so is this is is this your company? It's not. not no, I'm the nephew, but I'm definitely I'm related. <laughs> I'm not, over here in Chicago. Oh, okay, so you said it's not relation, no relations, huh? No, I am related. I'm just not the owner. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so, 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 yeah. di so Dylan transportation, um, tanker. Yeah. Tankers. Um, uh, we haul liquid asphalt mm -hmm. there in Ohio. We do it for Owens Corning and also marathon. Okay. So, you know, the drivers do are required to have a uh, hazmat and tanker endorsements. Okay. What's the, what's the, how much experience, what's the least amount of experience they need? We, we just need a year of tractor trailer experience. Um, it's okay if you don't have tanker experience, but we will train you. Okay. We need a year of track trailer experience. All right. So for the ha so for the hazmat, uh, this this is all hazmat uh, uh, hazardous commodities that we're that we're transporting. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Right. So we would need it before you come on board. Though if you don't have it, we do reimburse you for the cost. Oh, okay. So okay. For example, like if you go do the fingerprints and then the test, we'll reimburse you for it. Okay. Will I still? Will I still? Can I still come in and do the orientation and everything while while I'm waiting for it, or, or no? So what we, yeah, what we'll have to do, um, if you can, if you can fill out an application for us, um, we can get you your application qualified pending your hazmat. But I can't I can't put you in orientation because then you're technically hired on. Oh, okay. Um, until that hazmat shows up on your license. Oh. So okay. We can get all the pre-employment stuff done while we're waiting on it. Okay, so pre-employment drug testing, I would I would do all of that in my hometown. Yeah, so um, we would do all the background checks here with your you know driving history and all that. Mm -hmm. um, probably wait for the drug testing physical until like your hazmat's almost in, because hazmat can be kind of spotty on how long it takes to come right. in for you. Could be like two weeks, could be like five. Okay. So and just the physical only stays out for a month. So, like, what, what our next step would be, if you're interested, um, you can fill out an application for us. Well, I, I just we get your background check there. Well, right now, I, I just want to do I just want to do some research on the company. Uh, okay. Before before I finally, you know, make that giant step. Um, but what would what would be the what, how? So let's say let's say that I do have my hazmat. Let's just say I let's say I do have so, my hazmat. Yeah. I come in. What would be what would be the process? from from start to finish from the time i fill, uh, fill out the application to the time i get into so the truck so, so yeah so the process with the whole background check is I'll, you put that application in and mm -hmm. we'll get you qualified within the week mm -hmm. um and then say if you did your hazmat did come in i would schedule you for a dot physical and drug screen and then we have orientations every Thursday or every other Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, you go to a two-day orientation class. It's paid for $150 a day. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's a Thursday, Friday, and then that following Monday, you would start training with your instructor trainer. How long? Um, I, how long I got to be out with a trainer? You probably be at least at least five days. Um, okay. If you don't have any tanker experience, it'd be at least five days. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you get that's $150 a day? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's $150 a day for that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, we have many different customers, but basically looking like a five to six day work week, and we'll be able to get you home every day. Oh. I'll haul an asphalt for. So, oh, okay. we'll be around like four, $1,400 a week. Oh, okay. So, this is, uh, so this is, uh, this route is like local slash regional? All local. Oh, it's we'll all be local. Able to get you home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, where's the orientation held at? It's at our terminal in Lodi. Oh, it's up in Lodi? Okay. 
Uh, let me ask you this. Now, I'm not a felon, but do you guys bring on felons or or drivers with DUIs or DWIs? Uh, it's just it, we do. Um, how long ago was it? Uh, I, I'm I'm just asking. Like I said, I'm not a felon. <laughs> yeah. I was just asking the general question as far as what's your policy on it. Yeah, I mean, we'd be able to bring them on. It's usually seven years. Oh, okay, okay. You guys have a sign-on bonus? $2,000. $2,000 safety bonus as well, paid out quarterly, and then driver for a bonus. Oh, okay. The the sign-on bonus, how's that paid out? Paid out over the year. You get 500 within your first uh, three weeks, 500 after six months, and 1,000 after a year. All right. Now, you say that the, the drivers can average anywhere between, what, $1,400 and $1,700? Do you is this a percentage base or is it pay per mile? And if it's pay per mile, how? how? Yeah, pay percentage of the load. Um, you start off at twenty eight percent, then you get up to thirty um, percent. Oh, you'll have it probably around fourteen hundred to start. Oh, okay, okay. Is there any guarantee pay? Yeah, we a minimum pay of eight hundred dollars a week. Oh, okay, okay. What up? Do you do you guys take per diem out of that? Uh, no, we wouldn't. You you would or wouldn't? Wouldn't. Oh, y'all wouldn't. Oh, okay, okay. Um, what about the benefits? What what benefits you guys offer? Blue Cross Blue Shield health insurance. Uh, we also have vision, dental, life insurance as well. Four hundred one k. That you can uh, company matches up three percent. All available to you after sixty months of employment. Okay. You, you guys got holiday pay and vacations? Yep, except for the six paid holidays. Um, and then if you do want to work on those, you get a $150 bonus plus your load pay for the day. And then vacation, you know, one week comes after a year, so you get five personal days right off the bat. Okay. And then, uh, two weeks after three, three weeks after five. Okay. What about uh? What about team driving? Do you well, no. Since this is local, uh, this I'm assuming yeah, there's local. no. Yeah. A lot of our stuff, I guess, is similar. It's, it's more of a slip. We're more of a slip speed operation for the local position. Uh, uh -huh. So. Oh, okay. So we're not opposed. If you want to go over the road, we're not opposed to team driving. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What about uh lease options? You you guys offer that? We can hire owner operators and independent contractors, but we're not offering for any of our trucks. But if you want to bring your own truck on, we, we that's available. Oh, okay. All right. Now, being that this is local, uh, local home daily, what's my route consist of? A couple routes, uh, one down to Indianapolis, um, pretty much in back. That's one load. A lot of our route runs go to Toledo, Detroit, Wellsville, Ohio, Canton. Uh, so fairly local. All right. So I will be so. These will be day cabs. So would they be? Would I be assigned a truck, or would it? Or would I slip seat with another driver? Most most likely slip seating. Oh, okay. And these and these trucks I won't be able to take home. No, all parked at our load eye yard. Oh, okay. What about if I decide to go over the road? Then would I be able to take a truck home? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. What what type of uh what type of what type of equipment are they? They're Kenworth Peterbilt's. Okay, and probably like 2015 or so. Manuals or automatics? Day cabs are automatics. I know some of our sleeper feet fleet, uh, some of them are manuals, but I'm pretty sure majority of them are automatics. Okay, the the day cabs slash sleepers come with cameras. Uh, yes. Okay. I so I have to double check on that if that got put in place, but. Okay. Now, being that I'm a, being that you know I will be doing local, would the ELD, will I be exempt yeah. from that? No, that is required. Okay. Um, and we have ELDs in all of our trucks. So. Okay. What's the uh, what's the computer that y'all use for your ELDs? Qualcomm. Oh, okay. Do you guys use since you get got Qualcomm? Do you guys use Com Datas for your fuel cards? I have to. I think so. I have to double check which uh, ones we're using nowadays. Okay, 
And being that this is all hazmat material, there's definitely no smoking in the truck, right? Uh, yes, yes. And no, especially if you're loaded, for sure. Okay, and no pets. I'm assuming. And I'm asking this for the sleeper drivers, the drivers that drive the sleepers. So do we? Do you guys have a pet and rider policy for that? Uh, we don't allow rider policies because a lot of the refineries um, need to be trained to be go in there and have cer certain um, you know qualifications for it. So we don't allow. We don't have a rider policy. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Uh, all right. Well, hey, I, I appreciate the time, man, that you uh, give me. Um, I'm definitely getting my hazmat this year. So um, when I, I got a, uh, I got a, my, my uh, license expires on my birthday this year. So I'm going to wait until my birthday before I get, you know, the hazmat. But I, def I will oh. definitely get that. And I already have my tankers endorsements. So, okay. uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for calling me back. And, <laughs> you know, the telephone tag, man. <laughs> But uh, th but thanks for calling me, and uh, I do appreciate the time that you're giving me to give me a little bit more information about the company. Great, sounds good. All right, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Later. Not much to talk about. Not much to talk about. But there there pretty much isn't much to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I told you guys before, I'm not going to lollygag. You know what I'm saying? I'm only going to get, you know, I'm only going to pull so much information from a person about the company as much as I can get. You know, I'm not going to try, you know, like how I did before in the beginning. You know how I would ask them, yada, 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 and just keep on and on and on. But basically, you guys just want to know the essentials, like what kind of trucks they run, how much it is, and what kind of miles that they can get, and how much money that they can make. So, basically, with this company right here, uh, what they got to offer for me out of Ohio, out of Lodi, it is 28% of the load i think you have to have your hazmats and you have to have your tanker so you definitely got to have both of those endorsements in order to get uh get on with this company now if you don't have it they will reimburse you so if you decide to go with them and you get approved and everything and you decide to go and get your hazmat at the time they will reimburse you for your hazmat so what do you guys think of the car i did you know like i said don't didn't didn't put too much into it you know because basically it's you know the position that he was offering was a local precision i mean position you know couldn't ask much about the about the day or about the trucks themselves because it's a day cab so you're pretty much going to be slip seating with another driver you come back, park the truck, get in your car, go home, come back in the morning, get in the truck, go out, and wash, rinse, and repeat. <laughs> so, home time is daily with this uh, with this uh, local position. It's daily, and I'm assuming you're off on the weekends. So, if you guys want to come in, you got to at least have two years of experience. Of course, have your endorsements, and you can get in and uh, knock it out, and you can probably make about fourteen to seventeen hundred dollars a week. That's what you guys are looking for, right? Y'all looking for that kind of money? Uh, y'all, y'all should always look for that kind of money, man. Right? But unfortunately for you, New Jacks, I, I understand that you're not going to make that kind of money out the gate. Well. Thank you. I am Lockout Men of Lockout Men Makes the Call. Thank you very much for joining me. If you guys like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Yo, make sure you like, man, because it helps the channel out greatly. Make sure you share, bro. 
because that helps the channel out to get more people to come in and be interested. I give truck, uh, you know, new truck drivers truck information. I, I guess you guys can consider me a trucking channel, right? <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to come back every Friday. Well, I'm sorry, every Wednesday and Friday. Uh, Lockout Men makes the call on the Lockout Men podcast. You guys stay safe out there, and I will come back at you in another video. Peace.